now we are leaving this St. Stephen's Basilica, but, but one more story I would like to tell you that's uh, partly, but really just partly about St. Stephen's Basilica. This story is much more about or or big national sport here, that's soccer. Uh, I can also tell you that soccer is, is much more like a religion. It is not just a sport, you know, here in Europe, almost every country, you know, in Europe, it, they play soccer, they love soccer, and that's the same in Hungary. And the national soccer team of Hungary was really the best in the world. They defeated the English soccer team, that was the very first team, the Hungarian soccer team that defeated the English soccer team in England, in London, and England is where soccer came from. So it was a big victory in 1953 when we defeated the English soccer team. Such a big victory it was that we still celebrate it every year. Yeah? We have nothing else to celebrate about Hungarian soccer, unfortunately. That's the reason why. But it was really fantastic. Back then, uh, Hungarian national soccer team was in the World Cup finals twice. So, two. But still, they were in the World Cup finals back then. And um, the most famous soccer player of Hungary was Puska. She played in that famous big team. Puska, it was his name. And then he passed away. Here in countryside we brought here so the people of Budapest could buy everyday fresh products coming from the farms from the countryside, fruits, vegetables, a lot of meat of course they, are, they were selling in the market. Today we still have the fresh market and the locals are still going to that covered market to buy the fresh products but at the same time upstairs in the market now you can find all the handmade products, Syrian specialties, but there are also small buffets where you can buy food here in Hungary. We have fantastic sarcevi strudel, uh, sweet cheese, curry cheese, curry cheese strudel, apple strudel of course, and poppy seed strudel. It's very big in Hungary, eating poppy seeds in desserts. We love the taste of it. It's, it tastes very good. You just have to be careful when you are smiling after eating a lot of poppy seeds, but it's very delicious. We also have cabbage strudel that sounds probably weird, but it is very delicious too. And we have a very famous local street food in Hungary. That street food we call langos. L-A-N-G-O-S. So langos, that's the name. And langos is made of a dough, a little bit like the dough of a bread, but a bit different. And we make something, uh, something that has the shape and the size of a smaller pizza, and then we deep fry it. So it's a deep fried dough, this langosh, like a bread deep fried. It probably sounds strange, but it's very, very delicious. And the, after we deep fry the dough, we top it with sour cream and cheese and garlic. But you can, you can combine a lot of different toppings. It's easy in the market. Pepper. The langosh, I'm also going to show you where you can get it. It's very filling, it's heavy type of food, so it's enough for lunch. Uh, sometimes not only just for one, but for two <laughs> people as well. Well, langosh, because it is, it is filling and heavy type of food, but very delicious. market 
when you pay, you can use Hungarian foreigns, euros, very many of the shops take uh, American money as well. Uh, you can also use credit cards almost everywhere. But please, if you have Hungarian money with you, do not forget that this is the last chance if you have a lot of Hungarian money to spend it. Because this afternoon you will drive to Vienna. You will have one stop, you know, on the way to Vienna. So a few coins you can leave uh, or you can keep for like washrooms or restrooms, but not more than that. So if you have Hungarian money, please try to spend it here because you cannot use it in other countries. You go to Austria today, if you try to use your Hungarian money in Austria, they are going to laugh very, very loud. They don't want Hungarian money there at all, but Euros, yeah? So Euros in Austria, Euros in Germany, in Czech Republic, where you're also in Prague, they have the own money, the Czech crown. So, so if you have Hungarian money, then, then the best is to, to spend it here or exchange it back probably. There is exchange office in the market too. Okay, so here we get off the bus. Please bring the whispers.
I really hope you had a nice time in the market. I could see a couple of plastic bags with you, so thank you for supporting Hungarian economy. <laughs> and I hope you have your paprika so you can cook your Hungarian goulash at home. Yeah. And yeah, the chicken stew also, the chicken paprika, that's also very good. And now uh, we are driving back to the hotel where you will have like 50 minutes because you have departure at uh, one o'clock yes it's half past so you will have like 20 minutes you are leaving to vienna but i stay here and i will have another gate one group next week i will have another group i will have another tour but uh, i really would like to say a big thank you for your kind attention and i really hope you have enjoyed your stay here and when you go back home and uh, your friends will probably ask you how did you like budapest then you can tell them it's budapest because now you speak hungarian so now you can correct pronunciation right yeah, yeah, yeah. so we of course we also have a very nice word for goodbye a long word uh, for goodbye it's visont latashra see you next time but it's enough to wave your hands and, and, and um, let me tell you the longest word of the language that has 44 letters. 44 letters. The word is Would you repeat it, please? We need almost a sentence. Actually, we need a sentence to translate it, that this is for your sins that you have committed before continuously. So with these endings we have in the language, we can express lots of lots of things. So. But we never use that word, we never, it means that this is for the sins that you have committed before. This is the meaning of the word, yeah? Never, never use it. <laughs> Not a very useful word anyway. Yes, yes, yes. So, yes, you have paprika, 
you have a little bit of Hungarian language skills now. So please come back to Budapest because Budapest is, as you could see, really very beautiful. And it's really worth to spend more time here if you have like four or five days. That's nice. Then you have time to go to baths, concerts, discover a little bit more. Usually the people don't know what to expect expect before they come to Budapest and they are usually they are surprised right that this is more beautiful or, or different than they had expected so you have seen a lot in the city even today when we were in the parliament St. Stephen's Basilica so we have a lots of lots of beautiful buildings of course everywhere not just these but a lot of other buildings those are really worth to see yeah Everybody have a fantastic tour, enjoy all the other cities and see you next time. Okay, bye bye. How are you? Are you ready for another city? Yes. Another country? Yes. Yeah. Cool. Cool, ladies and gentlemen, uh, control questions. Uh, everybody is aware that you have passport with you, okay? Either down or, you know, just not leaving behind uh, at the hotel.